good day friends it is me hl my tech and i am back with the anet et4x and my friends a user asked hey can you show us how to change filament so let's get cracking all right so first things first let's get into the menu if we hit prepare we can fire up that hot end so that it starts heating i'm gonna go one degree and i'm gonna go up let's see how it goes to 222 I don't want that. If I'm changing filament, I'm going to go down to like 205. So I'm going to actually change by fives to get there. Then I'm going to go to ones. And then it's going to be at 204, which is a good number. I'll go 205. Hit that plus one more time. <laughs> As I miss once or twice. So that's how it's preheating. Then if we look at change filament, they have a load and a unload. And it's right now set to unload 30 centimeters or load 30 centimeters at a time. It's going to the 205 just like I did on the other screen. So I could have adjusted it here. And I can also change my millimeters per second. So when I was getting fired up with this printer, I had it at a slow millimeters per second as I was trying to make sure that it was extruding correctly. And then once I got it to where I was happy, I moved it up to the four. So let's actually use the mechanism and then I'll show you how I change filament because I rarely take the time to use the built-in systems. All right, so that was pretty quick. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to one centimeter and I'm going to load. So what that does is it pushes a little bit of filament out so I'm sure that I've got it set the right way. Then I'm going to switch to the 30 and I'm going to unload. And then if you reach up, and you can feel the filament being pushed out at you. 30 centimeters is a lot of filament, so you should be able to empty the machine on one 30, minute, 30 millimeter unload. I was actually able to pause and move back here. You can see my hand. I'm not pulling the filament. I'm just showing you that it is pulling out. There was probably a five second pause as I moved the camera up here to catch this angle. And there the filament popped out. And then to finish the process, I'm just a little bit short, so I am squeezing the actuator and I can pull out the filament and boom, we are ready to load a different color. Now, I'm not sure what that string is. I don't usually have one that long, but let's see what it's like to load filament. But you've got an edge that's easier to push it through. I don't like that one, so I'm going to do it one more time. There we go. There's an edge that is useful. All right, friends, so the filament goes right through here. If you find that your filament catches, just rotate it around. You will find a angle that it goes through perfect. And then what I do being totally honest with you is I come through here and I wait till I can see it going through the clear tube without even using the mechanism so right there it just started pushing through you can see it's coming up over the edge right there it's passing there I'll go up and down so you can see it a couple times on that side and then finally when it pushes through like this I'll slowly push and I wasn't trying to push down that was an oops but you can see some filament oozing out the bottom. All right, so real quickly, let me give you this view. If I squeeze a little and push some more, you can see that filament coming out. That proves it works. And then also I'm gonna go over to the button. I'm gonna click the one centimeter button because I don't wanna do a ton of it. And if I hit load, I can feel it pulling up here, which is awesome. And you can see it coming out down there. Alrighty, friends. Well, there you have it. That is how I change filament on the ANET ET4X. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like. If you've got any questions, comments, or suggestions, add them down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.